Welcome to another MATLAB video. In this video, I'll be covering how to create subplots in MATLAB using Tiled Layout, a newer function introduced to MATLAB in version 19b that improves upon what the subplot function is capable of. If you're using 19a or earlier, you can check out the link in this video's description to the original subplot video. Now let's see how this newer function works. Utilizing Tiled Layouts allows you to plot multiple axes in the same figure by breaking it down into smaller subsections called tiles. There are multiple ways the function can create these tiles. One way is by creating an m by n grid with known dimensions, where m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns the figure will be divided into. Here I have four equations I want to plot, so I'm going to create a 2x2 two two tiled layout so each of my equations has their own axes. To do this, I'm typing tiled layout with 2 comma 2 in the parentheses. To utilize the tiles created, we need to first type next tile, and then on the next line, create the first plot which will appear in the top left tile. At this point of the code, you can also add any titles to this set of axes by typing the title function with your desired title as a string. Repeat the previous step starting with typing next tile to fill in the remaining sections. This can be done until we filled all the sections that we initially created with the tiled layout function. If I wanted to plot an additional equation in a fifth set of axes, my current code would return an error because I didn't create enough tiles. To fix this, I could go back to the tiled layout function and adjust the size of the grid manually, but one of the strengths of using tiled layout over subplots is the function's flexibility. If I replace the dimensions in the tiled layout function with the string flow, the function will automatically adjust the layout to accommodate an additional tile. Flow allows the tiled layout to continuously adjust how it can best fit multiple sets of axes into the figure window. Not only can it adapt to changes in the quantity of tiles needed, but it will also adapt to the size and shape of the window. Another benefit added to the tiled layout function is the ability for you to adjust some properties you can't with the subplot function. You can check a full list of properties that can be changed on its own designated doc page. Link to it will be in the description. For this example, I'm adding an overall title and changing the layout's padding and tile spacing. Padding is a space surrounding the overall layout that separates it from the edge of the window, and tile spacing is the spacing in between individual tiles. The simplest way to make these changes to a tiled layout is by calling the property according to the doc page, which requires our layout to be set to a variable. Here I'm setting my layout to the letter T. To add an overall title, I'm typing the variable my layout is set to, dot, title dot string equals, and then typing the string I want to set this title to. Adjusting the padding and tile spacing of my layout is similar. I call in these properties by typing the name of my layout, dot, padding and tile spacing respectively, and then set these properties to one of their preset string options. Here I'm using the compact setting for both properties, but there are more to choose from on the doc page. If you want to see examples of more properties that can be adjusted when using the tiled layout function, check out the link in this video's description for the tiled layout doc page. And to learn more about subplots, check out the original subplots video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.